One of the best ways you can use these AI video tools right now to affect your business is to animate your logo. So today I'm going to do a really quick tutorial to show you how to animate your logo, do fun things like what you're seeing on the screen right now. Guys, I'm Brian, half of the Creative AI Show, where we're two creative guys talking AI, putting up videos on YouTube every single day of fun stuff like this, showing you guys how to use AI to your advantage. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do. All right, let's dive on into it. So what I did today was I'm using Google Veo 3 Fast. I I also used Kling to try to compare because this is a frames to video function that we're trying to do. And I'm going to be honest, Kling is normally fantastic and it really failed, but Google Veo 3 is really, really good at this task. So I've got my logo here from Great Scott Social Media where we got our little Scotty dog and our, our writing of our logo. And uh, so I'm going to kind of take you through some steps here of what I did. So when I started this video, I didn't really have a vision of where I wanted this logo to go. And, you know, we've all started to see some animated logos and stuff and it's like, wow, that really separates a, uh, a company, makes them look like they're the next level to have that at the end of their video instead of a static logo to have something animated like this. So the first thing I did is went over to good old Claude. I said, give me five different motion prompts to animate a logo. So it gave me, you know, a bouncy entry, particle assembly, which there's a really good one. I'm going to show you here at the end for that. A liquid morph. That's the one we were watching. Kinetic typography and a glitch kind of transition. So I did um, these five different ones and I want to show you kind of some of my results here. So um, I'm going to start here with the bouncy elastic over effect, um, effect overshadowing slightly, settling into place. So this one's pretty good. It was like, you know, the doggy kind of came down, but then, you know, the dog moved in a natural kind of way. I think it made my typography a little more bold than it is originally, but I can deal with that. That's not too bad. Pretty good there. I'm going to show you what Kling did with the same thing. And I'm going to be honest, Kling kind of failed me all the way around here. It added like springs and weird stuff and doubled up things. So... No, Kling. No, not good. So let's keep on looking here with Veo 3. All right, the particle materialized. I want to show you that one at the end. That one's super good. Here's where Veo 3 failed a little bit. So it's a text having the letters slide in for different angles, staggered. And then it kind of Google Veo like doubled letters up and stuff like that double I right there, the I there. So not the biggest fan of this one. So we can move on from that one quickly. Um, ooh, this one glitches. So it's kind of a cool RGB channel separation, digital noise. Now, again, I took the noise off of all of this because I'm just looking to have this be a, um, an animated logo. I don't need there to be any sound associated with it. So, all right, this one kind of glitching coming in. That one looks good, but I mean, there's a ton of effects and video programs where you can do that. So it's not animated so much. Um, this last one, okay. Um, well, first, I'm going to show you Kling, how they did on some of these ones. Um, here's the, the letters rippling in and it brought in like a water ripple, which is weird. So I kind of like that one. I don't know. That one's got some interest to it. I think that might be the best one Kling did. Here's the letters cascading in and kind of shaking. Not bad. I wish they did something with the dog. And then this last one here with the RGB glitch. This is, I think the best one that, um, Kling did with the glitch kind of look, move the letters around nicely. So, all right, cool. Um, all right, so this one, I actually, I was just like, I'm not going to write a prompt or have um, Claude write a prompt. I'm going to use my own prompt. I want to make this dog appear to sit behind a desk made of the lines from the letters in the Great Scott social media text. Animate the dog in a playful manner with a wagging tail. It did it okay. It animated the dog great, but I wanted the actual letters of Great Scott social media to form a desk. It didn't quite do that, but still pretty good to see the dog animated and then ending up behind a desk, so... Pretty fun. I don't know. I, I don't hate it. <laughs> it dances around a little bit at the end, so pretty good. But, all right, so I want to show you the best one here, keeping this tutorial under five minutes. This particle fragment one swirling inward. First of all, I'll show you what Kling did with it. Uh, no, it just added effect in the same colors and didn't really animate anything. Not a big fan there, Kling. But check out what Google Veo did with this one. That's fantastic. That's something that I think I'm actually going to end up using at the end of some of my videos. So this tutorial is helpful for me as a business owner because I'm going to start to add this into some of my videos to add a little flair, a little panache. Please let me know in the comments some, uh, some of the transitions and animations you like to do with your logos. So that way we can all kind of be a community here and share some of these uh, tips and tricks. We really appreciate it. So also guys, um, if you check out every Monday, Rosh and I do the Creative AI Show. We talk 20, 30 minutes about tips and tricks, fun things like this. All the latest updates in the world of AI. And uh, we have a lot of fun with it. We talk to the creatives and help people get more creative. And until then, we're two creative guys and we're talking AI.